Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope everybody's doing well. So today's reading is, is going to be a twist or a take on the um, my weekly How Do They Feel For You reading. So this one is um, how are they acting towards you versus you know how they feel, okay? So I'm just going to put a general trigger warning on this one. Um, those of you who follow my channel or have been for a while know that I don't, um, I don't sugarcoat, I don't salt coat, I just say what I see. And although it might not be needed, um, you know, don't watch this if um, you're, you know, in high emotions or feeling particularly sensitive about about how this person might be feeling or treating you at present. Just an FYI, okay? And note that this is a general reading, so not every message is going to be meant for everybody. It's not going to apply for everybody. And I'll try to link. Um, how to take readings the video that I did on that my opinion on how to take readings in the description box I've been meaning to do that Forgive me for not having done that yet, but I will plan on doing that with this video just in case Either way, hopefully it'll be helpful in some way cathartic at the very least from left to right We've got green calcite. That's number one in the center We have iron pyrite. That's number two and to your far right. We've got peacock ore, which is number three so pause the if you need more time. The timestamps will be down in the description box below. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. And we'll get started with group one. Welcome group one. Thanks for tuning in to your reading. So today's reading is how does your person feel, feel towards you versus how they act. So we're going to compare how they act towards you and compare it to how they really feel about you, okay? So I'm going to use the Hoodoo Tarot deck and I'm going to clarify with the Barbara Walker deck. So think about your person. Angel Spirits and Guides for those who have tuned in for group one. Um, show me how um, their person acts towards them. We're going to start with that. I pre-shuffled off camera. I'll shuffle again. Then we've got um, pre-shuffled oracle cards as well. So for group one, how does their person act towards them? What kind of behavior does group one's person display? How are they acting towards group one? got the paw card in reverse it's actually the moon card in this deck so they're behaving mysteriously towards you right now um, I see them coming out of that though with that card being in reverse it's like there's clarity coming into the situation it could have revealed some truth to you it could actually have um, visited you in a dream I feel like this person is thinking about sending you a message but they could be contacting you in the 5D, like through the dream straight state or astral projection. But um, yeah, that moon card in reverse is talking about this person having a lot of secrets. A secret could have been revealed or will be revealed here. And so I feel like this person has probably, um, you know, is behaving a little bit delusional or buying into their own illusions. I don't feel like this person has been real with you. I feel like they have probably tried to cast themselves in a different light in order to win your affection or they're wearing a mask. I feel like this person has been inconsistent, but I feel like clarity is coming to this situation here. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, somebody here has behaved stupidly. I feel like your person's behavior has been kind of stupid in the sense that they have been wearing a mask. They have been um, nurturing delusions or acting in a way that's confusing, not only to themselves, but to you as well. And we've got um, a warning here, don't don't dismiss the red flag. So I feel like this talks about your person not feeling like they can trust you in this situation or they can't trust themselves and they can't really be themselves. They're not really um, acting in their integrity. For some of you, you are here for someone that you have had um, a split with some of you as far back as like last fall but not necessarily we've got the release your ex card from the romance angels so the time has come to clear your energy so your person could very well be acting like they released you that this relationship is over they could be being manipulative but I feel again that um, if they're doing this it's because you know, they're not behaving in their highest integrity, um, not according to any sort of morals or values, and um, 
there is clarity or some truth to be revealed here. And again, this person's thinking about you um, and wanting to send a message, I feel. So let's clarify that. How is this person acting towards group one, please? Got the Pope. I think they're waiting for the right time, like in divine timing, to um, like contact you, to reach out to you, I feel, for a lot of you, because the Pope is a card of commitment, and is a par it is a card of serious intent. So I feel that this person, um, you know, they're gaining some wisdom, some clarity on the situation, or at least they're behaving like they are, okay? Getting a different perspective, they could be um, asking others or just meditating on the situation. Um, this person could be married under another commitment or committed to you. Um, as the Pope can be a card of commitment, but it's a general reading, so obviously only take what resonates and forget what doesn't, but I'm getting that. Um, you know, this person is behaving in a traditional way, you know, trying to conform to expectations. And so I feel like this has got them hung up because um, I do feel like they want to re-enter your life here with the um, chair. And um, it talks about someone new entering your life. So for some of you, this could be a new person or this person wants a new beginning with you. But it is like they are in some sort of a family situation, some of them or at the very least in their comfort zone and emotionally secure loving family is important to them. So they act like someone who, you know, traditional things like home and family are important to them and could be, um, you know, behaving that way on the surface, right? So it could be something that they're working towards. But I am seeing like the need for another chance to be given here. I'm ready to take responsibility. Give me another chance. So it's like your person knows that due to some ending in this connection, another chance is needed. But some of you have already released this person or are working on it, or since this is how they're acting, they're acting like they've released this, but they're deluding themselves because in actuality, um, you know, their behavior is in alignment with traditional values, okay? Uh, whether or not then this is um, their intention deep down, we'll see, but on the, on the surface, their behavior is in alignment with the traditional values, okay? Let's get another card for group one, how this person is acting towards group one. Is this person acting towards group one? Black Herman. So it's very likely that they're acting like they're single here. Um, um, not for everybody, but um, I feel like this person has got a singular focus and that's pretty much on themselves and, and what they want to create or manifest in their lives, how they want their lives to be. I feel like this is an entertaining and charming person, probably smart and cunning as well, maybe a good communicator too. They're acting like someone who likes to put on a show, um, and wants to create the, you know, some vision, make some vision in their life become a reality. So with regard to like a new beginning, the Black Herman is the magician. This is about manifesting a new beginning. So getting clarity on their traditional values and are trying to manifest something new in their lives, something according to Something according to these values, you know? Something that could allow them to be the star in the situation, the leader in the situation, but still wanting something new here. Got the Pappas or the High Priestess in reverse. So this person could act like they don't have any sense because they're not listening to their intuition. They might be religious, but they're um, um, blocking their spiritual connection to you here or just blocking the voice of their intuition so I feel like the, again this is talking about your person is acting like they have secrets they're behaving mysteriously um, and and I feel like their insight as to how to move towards you is blocked we got the eight of knives here in reverse 
and we've got the big house in reverse so it's like the main focus is um, you know trying to figure out a way that works best for them to give equally in this connection to not only give but to receive and they're going within to be able to do that but they have a hard time doing that it's like trying to listen to their inner voice but they're blocking that inner voice because they're wanting instead to be in their ego just be charming be entertaining be first in their life um, sort of be more self-focused um, be the leader the star in their life okay but and, um, this is likely a masculine so a traditional role for a masculine that thus would be them being like the leader um, whether they um, you know have earned that position or not it's like an entitlement thing here with this person we have the king of swords in reverse it's like the narcissist card that's clarifying the eight of swords in reverse so that is um, this person needing to release the old this person's longing for a renewal they want to escape from some situation so if they're with someone else they're wanting to escape from that situation they're wanting liberation and freedom they could be behaving um, you know like that king of swords in reverse somebody that is you know, uh, pretending to be more confident than they actually are. Um, somebody that is, you know, could be sharp in their words and manipulative. Um, you know, like a chess player that doesn't have good intentions. But I don't feel like that's necessarily uh, towards you. Although if it is, take it that way. But they're acting this way. They're acting like um, someone who's out for number one. And trying to get their own needs met. In, in order to escape from some situation here, in order to, with the tower in reverse, avoid a disaster as best they can. Um, we've got the four, the emperor here, yeah. Avoiding a disaster um, and desiring to be the emperor in the situation. Desiring to be somebody who gets respect, who, who is a strategic leader, someone who plans well, who is the patriarch of a family. This is what this person um, is acting like. This is this is how they appear on the surface. So they're acting like, in summary, you know, that, um, that they are revealing more of themselves, and that is that they are a leader in their own right, um, somebody that others can look up to, perhaps a father or a mentor. Um, but also somebody who wants to uh, sort of, I don't want to say con, but use their confidence to get what they want. Um, and this means, you know, blocking their sense or their intuition at times um, because that slows them down <laughs> from the fast talking and um, the cleverness that's needed for them to pull off some sort of escape that they're trying to do. Um, some sort of um, move they're trying to make, some sort of liberation or freedom or renewal of hope here in this connection and in order to do that they are being you know sneaky and underhanded um, and but it's all to avoid like a total disaster in the situation because they are wanting to be you know the emperor in the situation and they're wanting to maintain or save face with the integrity card um, they do have regrets about the situation with you and so I am getting that they want to have communication with you, interested, conversing more, awaiting messages, text, call, or email, hoovering as well. That's a tactic of narcissists so that goes along with Knight of Swords in reverse, although this person doesn't have to be textbook not narcissist, right? Of course we know that, but it can be, um, you know, for some of you, because we saw the red flags card, something to look out for. So this person could be actively trying to pull you back in. Um, and just be just know that if that's the case on the one hand I feel like there's a completion of a cycle happening here and that cycle is related to this person having illusions about this connection and if this person was non-committal before I see them you know behaving as somebody who wants to be a traditional patriarchal figure or a leader in a relationship um, a husband or a father figure but at the same time um, there's some underhanded ways you know that they're going about it and um, the good news is they're starting to listen to what they think more, but they still have a tendency to block their intuition. And so this is how they're behaving towards you. So um, how does this person feel? How does this person really feel towards group, group one? Before um, I forget, I'm going to do the emotional barometer. How does group one's person really feel towards them? They feel self-pitying towards you. So they may not be getting what they want out of the situation. 
you're not letting them feel like the leader or you're not going along with things. They also feel awed by you. They're in awe of you. And what else? This group wants person practical and they're taking practical approach towards the situation and towards you. So they're feeling, you know, you know, they feel like you're awesome. They're, they're wanting to take a practical approach and or feel that you're a practical person. Um, that might be what they like about you. One of the things, but they're also self-pitying here. So how does this person really feel? Or it's group one. Got seven of baskets. This person's fantasizing about you, dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, dreaming about you when they're sleeping, dreaming about you when they're awake. I feel like they are trying to figure out a, a way towards you to have some sort of communication, some sort of a renewal in the connection. You know, after an ending, it looks like Father of Knives in reverse. We've got that twice. So just be aware that this person, um, you know, is really coming across in a, a sort of a shady uh, energy. Um, like they're trying to get something that they want um, out of the situation. So, you know, be careful. We've got the claw card here talking about be careful, don't take risks. And, um, yeah. So let's get clarification on these cards. Clarify how this person really feels towards group, group one. How's this person really feel towards group one? Okay. Wow, we've got the Seven of Cups clarifying the Seven of Cups. So, I'm going to show you the image because images um, trigger subconscious responses that are important for your intuition to understand your situation. But you can see this person sitting there fantasizing about you, thinking about you. She's got a cup that she's pouring on him. Um, like you have that cup of love that um, that's lacking or missing that he desires. So, whether regardless of gender, you know, whoever this person is, they desire that cup of love for you. They desire a new beginning in love with you. And we already saw that. That's validation for me. Um, they want some sort of, um, some of them, they want to marry you. Um, if you are married, they want to stay married to you. Some of them want to have a baby with you. Um, it, it depends on your situation here. Um, because we've got tradition and we've got uh, sort of this ace of, ace of cups energy. I feel like this person's gained clarity about this. You know, if they're acting like they've gained clarity on wanting something more with you, um, that is reflected in their true feelings for you, okay? So I feel like that is sincere. But it is more like in the fantasy stages right now. However, with the Three of Wands, this person wants expansion. I feel like they come across in this uh, shady energy because they want expansion with the Three of Wands and this connection. It's like they put in work on this connection, they want to see some sort of a payoff for it. They're kind of um, feeling towards you like this is a new project. They'll be watching you from a distance and um, just waiting for to hear a message from you or for you guys to get back in contact for something to happen, movement to happen, so you guys can move forward. I feel like they feel you know awed by you, inspired by you, and they have the urge to create something new here. But I, I definitely get that they are not loving the fact that um, that you may not be. Um, you know, holding them in the high regard that they think that you should, or in their opinion you're not, or um, not letting them be as much of the, if it's a masculine, the man in the situation, um, or the leader in the situation that, you know, that they want you to. I'm just getting that. With that magician card. They could be a lot more magical if they would stop blocking their intuition, but I think they're afraid, you know, magician shadow energy is somebody that manipulates out of insecurity. Um, so they're like tuning out the voice of spirit because they're afraid that that voice will validate their insecurities. And as a result, it makes them act, you know, in a selfish, underhanded sort of way, a uh, negative way. And um, part of that also is fueled by the fact that they want expansion in this connection. They want to take some action. They have passion for you but um, it's like that is being thwarted because there's been an ending in this connection or this connection is going, undergoing uh, um, transformation. Okay, so we have 
Four of Knives in reverse, there's definitely a desire to take action. So that's validation, again, that they want to, they're coming out of this period of being all trapped in their head. Um, you know, if they're acting on the external, like they are restricted from you, like they can't get to you, something is holding them back. Um, I feel like you're probably seeing glimpses of that not, you know, of that turning around, of them um, showing more hope or interest in this connection. Um, they should be taking some sort of movement that you can see um, towards this connection. And they feel like doing that because, you know, they're tired of waiting on the situation. They're tired of the stagnation here. That four of swords in reverse. They've gotten restless. They feel anxious. They feel burnt out in general. And in this relationship, they're ready to take action. That's part of their bad mood with that king of swords in reverse, wanting to take action. And they really feel about you that you're the daughter of coins. So it's the daughter of pentacles. So that answers the question, how does this person feel about you? Practical. They feel like you're a practical person. Daughter of coins, pentacles, earth energy, regardless of your sign. Um, they're looking at you as someone who is, um, you know, um, reliable, patient, hardworking. They're also um, assessing your value, recognizing the value that you bring to the table. The emperor, um, somebody that's attracted to quality attracted to, to value and things that stand the test of time uh, and so this is why they don't want this connection to end. they don't want to it to stay ended if it is ended because they they want to communicate with you and could be making you a practical solid offer um, definitely want to like any communication that they would have with you would probably be, be less romantic and more like based around like um, you know everyday details of, of life you know how you doing how's work this sort of a thing but it's it's because um, they're appreciating your value and seeing like the role that you could play in, in the vision that they have for their life okay so with this person I feel that we've got the needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted that they're wishing for this connection to come back together We've got let your friends help you. This could be in the friend stages, an early stage, maybe something that hasn't got off the ground fully. Uh, maybe one or both of you is um, otherwise committed, but even if that's not the case, you guys could have mutual friends or acquaintances who could play a helpful role in this connection, getting going or moving forward. So if you, if you feel drawn to, do ask for help and um, support from other people here. Um, I'm seeing this person probably would like you to ask them for help if you need it. Um, because they feel like um, in some way they are not getting to play um, this role of leadership in your life that they would like to play that would make them feel more secure in the connection and in their relationship with you. We've got the death card here. So this is talking about, you know, the ending and the transformation. Something ending for something new to begin. So I feel like big changes... Um, have occurred in this connection I feel like there's still some big changes that are trying to occur here I feel like your person's trying to control the narrative um, your person as an emperor this is a little bit of a control freak here I, I think on the one hand they want to avert further disaster in this connection but also they want to control how um, you guys get back together and or how it progresses for what that's worth and then we've got a fall so something of significance can be happening in the fall here or somebody's born in fall and we have the material world card so the fact that your person is viewing you in this coins energy they're seeing your worth in more ways than one they could be um, feeling that you are a prosperous person doing well in the material world and I feel like that's important to them they appreciate that if that's the case they like that um, also just this person is somebody who who values you know uh, stability security and and material world and finances is a part of that so um, they're looking at you as somebody that, um, you know, they're, they're seeing you as somebody that they could have that with. So I'm going to take this over to the extended where I'm going to pull some more cards on this as well as get some more um, feelings from your person and more messages as well. So I think I'm going to do the Tarot of Sexual Magic because I've been doing that lately and that seems to be pretty um, appreciated by by the viewers so I'm gonna do that as well so follow me over there if you'd like to the link for that will be in the description box below but if this is where we part ways guys I hope this was helpful in some way thank you for tuning in please comment share like and subscribe or whatever you want to do there that does support the channel and I do appreciate it and I'll talk to you next time 
Welcome group two, thanks for tuning into your reading. So this is how does your person act versus how do they feel? So I've got your oracle cards pre-shuffled and then I'm gonna um, pull tarot cards also pre-shuffled, but I'll pull some on camera to answer those questions. So think about your person. Angel spirits and guides for those who have chosen group two. How does a person behave or how does a person act? How does a person behave or how does a person act right now? For those who have chosen group two. I've got the star card first off. So yeah, the star card. I feel like your person is behaving a bit arrogant towards the situation. Either that or they're behaving uh, depressed or down in their luck. Like you're in low energy here towards this situation. Could be that they're feeling ignored by you. Um, for some of you, this person is behaving arrogant. And if they are behaving arrogant, I feel like it probably comes across as like being very feisty or overconfident. Um, or maybe for some of you, they just seem self-assured. So this is how they're acting. How does this person act towards group two, please? the judgment card so I feel like they're acting like they're having some sort of um, awakening or some sort of epiphany I feel like this person is um, you know they could have received some sort of news that they are trying to assess and make sense of could have been like something to do with legal it doesn't have to be I'm getting like um, with regard to you know this connection this person is um, I was trying to make sense of, of like weighing the pros and the cons of some news that they received about you or about this connection. I feel like for most of you, it's news about you, but it could be other other areas in their lives as well. And so definitely um, acting like they, you know, could possibly be wanting to to talk to you about something related to some sort of realization or some sort of choice that they have have to make here. So I feel like. Um, this person is just kind of acting like they want to do their own thing and not have to uh, succumb or um, go along with what you say or what you want or what anyone wants for them. It's like they any decision they have to make regarding a relationship, it's going to be their own. But I feel like this person has been um, too like judgmental or intolerant towards you or this connection. They're starting to lighten up on that and be more flexible. Or at least this is how they're behaving. Yeah, we've got, yeah, this person could have left you out in the cold. Um, we've got five pentacles at the back of the deck, and we've got the four of cups here that talks about a missed opportunity. Can't talk about that. Somebody that has withdrawn from this connection in order to really reflect on what it is they really want. Could be that what they have presently is boring them, you know, whether that's with you or someone else or just in general. They could be down on their luck, um, financially speaking. Um, again, it could have something to do with some uh, legal issue, but doesn't necessarily have to. Um, but more specifically, like related to this connection, I think this conflict has gotten this person down. So it goes along with that um, star card in reverse, because the star card in the upright is about hope and seeing light at the end of the tunnel and a wish coming true. And it's like that wish hasn't come true in this connection. Um, this person just wants to be happy. And we got that from my notes from your beloved deck so I feel like they're not at, you know they're not being happy right now they're acting like they're not happy right now with the way that things are going here between the two of you so it could be being cold or acting like they don't care I feel like this person just generally feels unfulfilled they could have gotten some news related to love their love life whether that's you know news from you or about you in this connection or somebody else you know it's a general reading so just take how it resonates but I feel like there's some news related to the love life that that was sort of um, a surprise a surprise to them and um, they're not liking you know that that news because we've got the pride and ego card here for, for your person from the mystic moon oracles and I feel like this person does have a lot of pride and ego and you know they they have conflict when it comes to giving equally in a situation but this card came out in reverse balancing the scale so it's like the justice card so it's to, it could be talking about this person um, having some sort of money or legal issues uh, however I think that your person is just doing their best just accept whatever's happening in a situation like everything happens for a reason 
and yeah, at the same time, it's like um, they're in this sort of try me sort of energy here. And if the roles are reversed, flip them around, do vice versa. But what I'm getting, someone here, probably a person, is kind of like not in the mood, kind of pissed off. Um, something's on the chopping chopping block. So the judgment card talks about that as well. You know, looking at things, weighing the pros and cons, making a decision of what to keep and what to get rid of. And so it can talk about you know this person has got something on the chopping block here um, because things need to change. So. Um, Maybe it's you, you feel like things need to change if this person is not giving equally to this connection or they left you out in the cold or you just feel at a loss with this person because they're pride and ego and you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, um, then take it that way. But I feel like this is more your person's energy, at least especially in terms of like not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Um, but getting some sort of a shake up or a wake up call or some news that's kind of gotten them feeling down, but at the same time, there's still an opportunity for this 10 of cups here. So I feel like this person um, does have areas in their life maybe they're in a family situation maybe they're in it with you but they have things to to look forward to and to be happy about but I feel like they feel conflicted about that for some reason so let's get some clarifiers Let clarify these cards bird got the six of bats so yeah there's some healing that they need to do Sort of a necessary transition going on here moving from rocky waters to calmer waters related to queen of bats in reverse and the three of pumpkins it can be related to um, a work situation whoops yeah it could be it doesn't have to be or maybe you met this person through work the three of pumpkins is about work home and money it could be related to money situation as well needing to transition, um, perhaps um, downsizing due to, to financial issues, moving to a new place, something to do with that, um, and being in a, a bad headspace about it, um, feeling um, you know troubled troubled by it. And, and so it's been getting some sort of um, coldness or feeling like um, you know unkind, maybe they're behaving unkind or cold towards you, but I feel like this person is actually wanting to um, work things out and you know work as a team something about uh, along these lines in order to get themselves to a better place here so this is how they're out, outwardly behaving clarifying the rest of the cards eight of bats in reverse yeah they're starting to think for themselves and not let other people um, you know tell them how to think how to assess what to judge how to judge you know they're starting to make their own decisions with the eight of bats in reverse they're getting out of a period where they've been trapped in their head holding themselves back being self-sabotaging and they're escaping from that they're becoming more free more liberated in their mind especially they're releasing something and again it could be related to some sort of news that they got that's made it hard for them to ignore the fact that things need to change here I've got the seven of imps yeah, I feel that whatever news they've gotten, you know, it's been really hard on them. They are a very prideful person. And with, you know, the six of imps at the back of the deck here, um, I feel like this person, you know, they prefer to be the winner in the situation. They like a lot of support. I mean, who doesn't, particularly a person, especially in love and with regard to relationships and partnerships. But I feel that, um, you know, they had to make a tough decision or they're having to make a tough decision um, that's, that's, making them you know think for themselves and I feel like they, they're not quite up to it so it's basically just that this person is feeling um, a little bit weak a little bit like shaky in their boundaries um, it's like some plan that they have perhaps to move whether it's move jobs move homes downsize or deal with legal issue um, possibly this person is divorcing could be as well but um, maybe some of you have, have recently married this person. These are some of the scenarios of getting, obviously, just take what resonates and forget what doesn't. But whatever it is, your person is feeling shaky. They, they're feeling like plans are not going as, as planned, and it's like this energy of giving up. So acting like they could, for the very least, at the very least, this person's acting like, you know, they've given up on this connection. Act, they're acting like um, 
they make up their own mind about the situation and that they just want to move move someplace uh, where they can work things out with uh, a person who is kind to them or where with whom they can be kind so they can be happy and um, so it's like this person's acting like they they've given up here Queen of Pentacles could be with the karmic energy if you know that you know this person was with somebody else and it could be for you um, We've got this Queen of Pumpkins in reverse, so um, a, a feminine energy, maybe an earth sign doesn't have to be, but it's somebody that, um, and this could even represent your person, who's like focused on material things, um, could be a little bit greedy, a little bit envious or jealous, um, somebody that's financially dependent on them, could be that they're having to deal with somebody that's financially dependent on them as well. So uh, maybe your person is financially dependent on somebody, it could be. We'll just take it how it resonates. So let's see. So in summary, your person is feeling, um, you know, at a loss. They're experiencing some tough times, whether legally or financially or with um, a karmic relationship. Um, they're having a hard time, you know, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, I feel you are in conflict or separation from this person. Um, or if you are involved with this person, there's some codependency issues here between the two of you. And um, and your person is, you know, just basically making a decision here, weighing the pros and cons, and feeling depressed and uh, like behaving like somebody who's low energy, even though um, they do have some sort of emotional fulfillment um, available to them. Um, it's like that emotional fulfillment is is going unrecognized at this time by your person. Okay. So how do they feel towards you? We're going to get the emotional barometer. So go ahead and think about your person, group two. How does group two's person feel about them? How does their person really feel about them, spirit? How does group two's person feel? Okay, we've got solitary. So they're lacking you. A lot of you are not in contact with this person or at least in, not in a relationship perhaps or in separation. It's like even if you are together, you're feeling solitary and that might not be your fault. Maybe they're pushing you away, but this does go along with um, the Hermit card. So the Hermit card is here as well. It come out. So I feel like this, this person is feeling towards you. Either you're being solitary, you're being like a Hermit, or they are. Um, one of you is likely single. So, or acting like they're single regardless if they are or not. And yeah, I feel like um, your person is viewing you as um, a single, as emotionally mature, somebody that goes within, an emotional person, but somebody that has your emotions under control, like in a healthy way. Um, and somebody that, uh, you know, who's like a seeker who wants their wish fulfillment, their light at the end of the tunnel and is willing to take the steps to, to move towards it. So they're seeing you as more spiritually enlightened than they are. How else does this person, uh, how else does this person feel for group two, please? Grateful. You know, this person feels grateful. Grateful to know you. Grateful to have um, dealt with someone like you or be dealing with somebody like you. How else does this person feel? And grateful to you for some reason again we got grateful so just very grateful grateful that you're in that you are in their life and even if you're not you know the card says our souls share secrets together can you hear them with the hermit card too it's like uh, a telepathic communication that you see in soulmate or spiritual connections and there this is a spiritual connection that the two of you share regardless of the type of soulmate relationship it is with the religious factors card your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that is a card that I see when, um, you know, that's a card that I see when there's a spiritual connection here, regardless of, you know, whether religion and spirituality are different. You know, you get the gist. This is <laughs> similar enough pre premises, so I'm not going to get into that whole thing. Now, we're going to look at your person. How do they really feel for you? So how does... Um, Group two's person really feel, okay? How do they really feel? How does 
the group choose person really feel? Oh, 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 calm down. So we've got the um, Eight of Cups. How does group choose person really feel? Yeah. There's distance in this connection or retreat. This person feels like you've moved on. They could feel abandoned by you. How does this person really feel? I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the cards. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse twice. So somebody is being codependent in this situation. Either your person's dealing with a codependent person, they feel bound to, or that, that person could possibly be you. Um, and codependency, you know, could be anything, right? Um, it could be, you know, food, drink, or relationships. So I, at the very least, that card talks about a strong sexual chemistry that the two of you share, backed up here by that King of Wands. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person feels that You know, they, um, there's a decision that, that needs to be made about whether or not their ego can handle this relationship or whether or not you guys are just compatible in general because we see that you have difference. Differences, whether it's religious, spiritual differences, socioeconomic differences in terms of class or maybe where you live, something here is different between the two of you. So this decision is like, um, can you guys work it out or not? sort of an energy can this relationship deepen or is it really over is it moving up to the next level or is it just ending these are some of the questions here so let's clarify across the board for how this person feels for group two got the fool in reverse yeah the timing is not right here um it's not that you know i feel this person has like with regard to their feelings towards you is feeling like or have has behaved or feels like apathetic towards this connection at present we see that they're kind of in a depressed or low energy here so I feel they're unprepared for the situation so if they've moved away from this connection or if they are moving away it's because they're just not ready for this connection and they're feeling your absence but they all also know that you guys have your own um, lessons that you need to learn spiritually speaking so it's like um, they're being guided away until a better time. So it's not saying that you guys will never have um, a new beginning or advance this relationship. It's just saying that at this time, um, you know, the timing is not is not right. Okay. So they feel like the timing isn't right. So they could be being a little cold or acting like they they don't care for you. Feeling actually feeling like um, moving on from this connection. Then we've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. So with the divine timing here, if they move on or if they don't, I feel like emotionally they have, or they're feeling like it um, because the timing is not right. It's like they still feel you know, very positive towards you with the world card. Um, like they're completing a lesson, that you guys are both completing lessons that you're meant to learn through this connection. And so this person is feeling a sense of completion and that they can have success in this connection. And that's one of the things they're looking at and assessing and coming to their senses about. They could have let other people put doubts in their heads about you, or that could have just been their own anxiety about your differences. But I see that that's wrapping up. They're coming out of that energy and instead are looking at the possibility of um, that you guys have you know, fully learned from your past, fully learned some of your lessons and even if this person has left or is leaving, you know, they're wanting, they're going to come back after they learn their lessons. Okay, so this is validation that even if this person's walked away, um, even if the timing isn't right, uh, they feel that you guys will come back around. You guys will be together again because, um, yeah, because it's just something that they sense. This is this soul connection that the two of you share the love that you guys share and i know that 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 you do have that love with that ten of cups amongst other things they feel like fulfillment and achievement and wholeness you know lies with you so they're 
wanting to and like the lesson that they need to and this is what your person's feeling whether consciously or unconsciously whether they say it or not they know that they got a big ego with that ego card um, maybe you do as well uh, whoever it is it's like that needs to be overcome and that's part of any separation or any distancing that's occurred in this connection um, so also some greed issues that's also just a manifestation of ego though feeling greedy or codependent that's all fear-based fear is ego based okay so um, this person you know they're, they're healing they're um, they feel that you guys can have a mature and fulfilling relationship once you guys have overcome your ego fears and insecurities that you guys can have a happy and rich and harmonious life together one that's very physically and spiritually rewarding so it's not just something that's going to be existing in in the 3d or the 5d your person feels like um, after the lessons are learned you guys are um, meant to be together they can that they can be that king of wands and this is really what they're looking at okay so we've got the two of imps in reverse yeah this person is um, not wanting to plan to fail okay the, the king of wands is somebody who is a bold leader they're powerful they're charming courageous and they're a good planner you know they're not as much of a cold hard strategist or logician as um, like the king of swords but they are somebody that um, knows how to go after what they want and to take the action steps to achieve their goals and so what they're trying to achieve right now is around um, finishing these these lessons working out their codependencies working out whatever tying up whatever loose ends that they have that interfere in this connection whatever those might be in order to come back around to you where they can have um, you know success in this connection with you why am I so sure about that we've got the true love card this is the romance of a lifetime this person is viewing you as the romance of a lifetime spirit is saying that this is the romance of a lifetime okay and so you're being asked to trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so um, I'm definitely getting that this person has difficulty surrendering, okay? The surrender card came out in reverse. This is due to their pride and ego. Um, but maybe you're having, you know, difficulty surrendering too. Maybe some of these lessons are meant for you to learn as well. So usually is the case. And that being said, you know, I feel like um, there have been some problems you know if you guys especially if you guys have lived at a distance there's been problems with you guys traveling towards one another but I feel like there's been problems for you guys really meeting you know in the middle on some things and really getting together in a meaningful way and progressing this relationship and it has to do with codependency and it has to do with some of the things that I've already mentioned that's kind of putting the delay on you guys having this passionate new beginning or moving forward in the connection um, I'm also getting that, you know, this person could feel that they've rejected you. Um, but I'm definitely, at the very least, that this is like a false start. Things never really got going in this connection. There have been a lot of delays in this connection. Um, some of you haven't even dated this person or, um, you know, had a formal relationship with this person. It could have been very sexually based, but either way, it's like your person saying, I want to take you out on the best date of your life. So they're wanting to turn that around. They are wanting more to the situation than um, than what has been up to this point but it is a matter of things happening when it's time for them to happen and so it's always coming down to that annoying concept of um, divine timing right so again I'm getting some energy though from here like if, if you're not greedy then it's talking about this person or somebody that they're dealing with that is overly um, focused on money and it could be for good reason maybe somebody's in debt here or your person is beholden to somebody who is in debt or stressing about money as related to someone else that they're dealing with maybe a family situation um, somebody that they feel like bound to like we saw there there's some maybe some legalities involved but I feel like your person feels more than um, capable of handling whatever they're handling, despite the fact that um, they're coming across low on energy. They're actually this king, this king of wands, which is somebody that is perfectly capable of handling stuff. They are a bold leader. They are somebody that has the courage to handle the tasks before them. But there are a lot of block. There is a lot of blocked energies with regard to their feelings towards you right now. And I feel like it's not personal. It has to do with stuff that they're going through externally. And again, these are lessons that uh, are meant to help tame that ego of theirs 
and so um, they want to come back around though to you and, they, and so it's like um, this connection has unfinished business but it's not exactly perfect timing for that business to, to, to pick up again so I'm gonna take this over to the extended where I'm gonna get some more clarification so if you'd like to follow me over there the link for that will be in the description box below I'm going to get a couple more notes from your beloved as well and look at the tarot of sexual magic to look at your sexual energy in this connection and so yeah this is what I'm gonna do if you did like it let me know in the comment section down below um, subscribe uh, what else what else what else I think that's it all right guys thanks for tuning in I hope that was helpful I'll talk to you next time welcome group three thanks for tuning into your reading so spin on this weekly um, how does this person feel for you reading is that we're gonna look at how they act versus how they feel so I have tarot cards pre-shuffled and I also pre-shuffled um, cosmic cycles tarot as well as Barbara Walker deck for clarification go ahead and shuffle one more time while you're thinking about your person think about your person Angel spirits and guides for those who tuned in for group three first thing we're gonna look at is how this person acts okay. how does group three's person act could be acting guarded towards you here the seven of wands passionate energy seven of swords this person's in a, could be acting like a player basically we got the knight of wands seven of swords both can talk about player behavior seven of swords in particular is sneaky behavior two sevens together is um, representing conflict so there's conflict in this connection they're acting conflicted towards this connection if they're not acting like a straight-up player there is some you know sneaky behavior going on with them some deception is likely they're acting deceptively or you feel that they are um, could have betrayed your honesty or ran away from this connection it could very well just be that this person has run away from this connection with the knight of wands here as well so I feel this person you know not necessarily um, a bad person at least not for everybody it's a general reading so just take what resonates and forget what doesn't a rule if the rules are reverse switch them but I'm getting a free-spirited individual here is very creative um, and likes to sort of just do their own thing come in come out be with their friends or make a loyal friend but not a very loyal or mature lover and so I'm seeing like if they're guarded towards you this is likely the reason why they um, are trying to protect themselves um, there could be some competition with this person at work could be referring to them you know dealing with competition at work as well um, so let's, get, let's get another one here got Queen of Swords energy um, so I feel like this person has not fulfilled somebody's expectations with it be your expectations or somebody else's air sign energy with the queen of swords so if you resonate with that could be talking about you could be talking about them um regardless of gender here we've got an individual that is um you know cold you know rigidly logical again this is validating sort of a dishonest cold and aggressive or assertive behavior here could be around somebody wanting to just you know um, be a little bit uh, lazy towards relationships or love um, somebody that wants instant gratification in a situation so unfortunately this is who we're dealing with here or this is how they're behaving right we're hoping that this isn't how they actually are so let me get clarifiers on that how this person um, let's clarify how this person acts please We've got the Princess of Cups in reverse, clarifying the Knight of Wands. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. I think it was reverse. Um, clarifying <clears throat> Seven of Wands, okay? So Spirit wants me to talk here. Stop here and talk. Um, yeah, the Princess of Cups. Okay, so this person is not being able to offer anything of, of value. They can't offer emotions. They could probably just offer passion and friendship at this time. It's up to you whether you if that's good enough for you um, this is how this person's acting right this is what they're showing you so I feel like um, this person is not communicating their feelings for you if they've got them they're behaving you know immature some of you are broken up from this person um, I feel like a lot of you want a passion new beginning with the beginning with this person but spirit says to check into any check any in, Okay, what's the word check any dependency issues thank you for uh, that you might have regarding this person in this connection reevaluate it because um, there's a little bit of an unhealthy energy um, towards this person coming from some of you um, don't shoot the messenger <laughs> I don't care uh, this is what it's saying and we've got the ace of wands um, if it doesn't resonate feel free to choose another group okay <laughs> um, 
So Ace of Wands, yeah, clarifying the defensiveness. So this person um, is being defensive about communicating or bring clarity to the situation. I feel like they're experiencing, you know, some mental blocks towards this relationship or they're in their, in their life in general and could be being dishonest or, um, what's the word? Using poor judgment. Okay. Yeah, this person is quite assertive um, in their uh, in their sneaky behavior, manipulative in their thinking, but they think that they're right. So it's not necessarily that. I mean, they don't think there's anything wrong with their behavior. If they're being sneaky or dishonest or um, cunning, maybe in just trying to contact you or come towards you because the, um, the Prince of Swords can talk about moving towards someone, communication or taking action, but it'd be like quick action by someone who is narrow-minded and thinks they're always right okay somebody who is smart very smart but not wise um, yeah I feel like some of you are having difficulty freeing yourself from this connection for those of you who are broken up with this person despite them not treating you the way that you deserve to be treated with the free yourself in reverse I get that there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you there's a strong um, magnetic attraction here makes it even more difficult this person is saying that I was under a lot of stress that you didn't know about. I feel like they're still under stress and they don't re react well to stress. Um, this person's obviously done something or is behaving in a way that does not honor you after everything I've done. How can you still love me? So um, I feel there's a lack of understanding in the connection here. Um, I think this person does miss you and feel nostalgic for you, wants to relate to you. But I feel that, you know, something's going on with their work. So if nothing else, you know, what's resonating is conflict stress related to work for this person and then having to um, feel like they're com in competition and needing to move in um, sort of sneaky or manipulative ways is how they're behaving. And it could have something to do with work. Pay attention to your work here. So there could be gossip in the situation as well. I feel like this person needs a vacation or well, maybe you do so take it how it resonates but someone will gossip about all your secrets be that this person um you know kiss and tells that type type of a person um hopefully not but that's you know that's a possibility that vacation i feel like you know for some of you you know that this person is hard to deal with and therefore any split for you on some level is actually a vacation from this person and their nonsense so um, let's see how this person is. Uh, so this is how they're acting. How do they really feel about you? I'm going to get the um, emotional barometer. We'll ask that too. So think about your person, group three. Angel spirits and guides for those who have tuned in for group three. How does this person really feel about group three? We got solitary. This could be viewing you as solitary. I definitely get that they miss you. So with regards to you, they're feeling the lack of you. How else does this person feel? Feel guilty. Guilty for whatever they've done, as they said on the card. You know, how can you still love me after everything I've done? Deceptive behavior going on here. Player behavior going on here. For those that resonates with and sensual, they are still attracted to you. That's that chemistry card being backed up right there. They feel, you know, sensual towards you. Okay, so how does this person really feel towards group three? We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit in reverse and Three of Swords and Six of Wands. Okay. So in terms of seeing like a long-term commitment with you, it's like that's not really on the table right now. Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, a solid relationship, even a marriage. This person could be married or you could, but just take what resonates. It's not necessarily the case. If you know that's not the case, that part of the message isn't for you. But with it being reversed, it's showing that there's stagnation in this connection. Um, this connection is not based on anything with a strong foundation at this time. 
um, as opposed to um, there being good luck in the connection, it's sort of like, well, you know, the opposite of that, with it being in reverse. Um, this person could be too com too comfortable with the status quo with you, however you guys are spending time, they're too comfortable with that, so, you know, you guys are in stagnation. Also, some of you have had frustrations and disagreement with this person, um, and I feel that, again, I'm getting, like, work or, like, Family responsibilities, business could be a factor in this connection that's negatively affecting it here between, negatively, negatively affecting the connection between the two of you. So I'm getting friction and unha unhappiness. So um, again, this person could be unhappy, you know, not just because of how things are going with you, but because of elderly parents or children as well that could be putting a strain on them or old hurts from a past relationship. And so, um, yeah, I feel that You know, they're feeling that you've withdrawn from them with the hermit card in reverse but they feel like you're justified in doing that um, they haven't given you clarity in the situation they've been defensive when it comes to anything deeper with you so they understand why um, you know why you've distanced yourself why you why you've isolated yourself from them okay um, even if you're not technically isolated from them you are okay they're missing you um, I'm also getting that this person feels like you're someone that could possibly they could possibly feel that you repeat past mistakes um, and that may be that you're stuck on them. Yeah, that there's a need for a transformation in this connection, that this, even though this connection has ended for a lot of you, um, you know that there is a part of you that is stuck on them. And then with the Three of Swords, we've got the Heartbreak card. So this person, you know, likely said some things that hurt you. Uh, there's an argument that hurt you. I'm just really getting this person either cheated or betrayed your trust. It's resulted in heartbreak. Three of Swords. And... With the six of wands this is the card about victory and true love and we have the two of pentacles clarifying the queen of swords here so i feel like your person you know they just were cold towards you because they're too busy like juggling other things not just other people but some third party situation which can be anything um in your case i feel like it has to do with um the interference in this connection comes from both work and from another person or just lack of commitment on your person's part here they're up and down in their emotions they're just like hustling juggling trying to keep all the balls in the air um, yet you know the six of wands is showing that this person's like main goal goals are centered around their ego and centered around being successful I feel like more in a worldly sense but I do think they can see themselves being successful with you as well like and it could be talking about this person wanting to give you some sort of good news in the situation here wanting to have some sort of a success. So let's clarify that. How this person really feels for group three. Does this person really feel towards group three, please? This person feels strongly connected to you. They do feel like you could be the one here, which is, you know, unusual considering the circumstances, right? This person isn't acting right, but at the same time, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. And I'm not just basing that on that card alone. We've got the Six of Wands, clarified by the Sun cards. So they are seeing you in a very optimistic and positive light. They feel warmth from you, that you guys can be yourselves with one another, that you enjoy a lot of um, fun times and pleasures together, and that they feel supported by you, and that being with you would be a you know a success if you guys could actually pull it off but you guys are in some unsettled times here with the unsettled kangaroo card from the tea leaf tarot so it, it says you need to plan ahead this person again ten of pentacles in reverse clarified by the five of pentacles in reverse coming out of a period of time of lack of resources probably related to finance but definitely related to security in this connection so you feel insecure in this connection and that you guys can't have stability in this connection um, because this person is focusing on other things. That said, um, yeah, I'm feeling like loneliness from this person and some family conflicts related to this situation as well. And um, but I think things are starting to turn around or things are starting to turn around for you somehow or some way if something like if you've gotten a new job, if there's some renewal of hope within you towards this connection or in your life in general, your, general, your person's aware of that. So they're feeling like cabin and recovery here. 
and the Ace of Wands in reversal, I feel that that project, that new uh, start, is being delayed because of um, this person's refusal or somebody's refusal here to learn lessons with that Hermit card in reverse. Um, somebody's repeating past mistakes. Yeah, I feel that the, a lot of what's happening in this connection is karma, so regardless of the label that this relationship has, there is karma playing out in this connection at present, and that's the reason why um, it needs to be stagnated at this time, why, why things are not progressing forward. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like for some of you, this could have been going on for a long time, or could be going on for a long time. I feel like some of you feel like a failure after like putting a lot of effort in this connection. You've probably, like, some of you have changed yourselves, or at least tried to accommodate this person. Um, and you know you haven't received a reward or a payoff for that you haven't seen you know a harvest or fruits for your labor for all the effort you've put into this connection it's very frustrating with the failure card so definitely getting that um There, I don't feel that you've totally given up. This person's broken your heart, but you haven't totally given up. There's a sense here that if you continue working on things, um, you, know, you have a lot of hope here. If you continue working on things with the star card, that some way, some shape or form, a miracle will happen and your wish will come true and you'll, your wish will be granted with regard to this connection, okay? And if it's not you, it's your person that's feeling this way. But I think that your person is feeling... Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit of both of you, and I feel like your person knows that you guys have a deeper connection. I've got the lovers at the back of the deck here. Um, they know that a decision needs to be made in their love life, but at the same time, there's it's like they haven't been ready, and there's a lack of understanding between the two of you here with the understanding card in reverse. For some of you, this is your twin flame soulmate, so that's why it's especially hard. Twin flame relationships are notoriously difficult, but if you're holding on to hope, it's likely that you think that this person is your twin flame soulmate, or they actually are. Um, nobody can actually tell you that. You will do something that you know intuitively or you don't. And so if you feel like having a renewal on this connection, regardless of the label you put on this relationship, I'm seeing that the hope is mutual, that there is this sort of feeling from both of you that a miracle could happen in this connection, um, if you guys have enough faith that um, there can be a renewal in this connection. That it can actually ascend to a higher level. And this person is looking at your photographs. Uh, like I said before, nostalgic. They want to make new memories, but that would require an ascension to a higher level and an increase in your guys' ability to relate productively and healthily. With the relating card, 7th house. It's about partnerships, best friends, marriage, opposition, sharing, communion, balance, and social awareness. I feel like there's a lack of awareness on this person's part, and, you know, with regard to how to move the connection forward. So, um, I mean, despite the fact that they feel that um, you are somebody that they could have, you know, abundance with, you know, material and emotional abundance with, um, that with you, that, you, that there's a strong potential for a joyous and happy outcome or success in this connection. Um, and that with you that they can get the recognition and the success and um, the achievement or the victory that they really want to have with that six of with that six of wands so um, why is this person behaving the way that they're behaving well the, the only thing worse than a man you can't control is a man you can so regardless of gender this person doesn't want to be controlled there's games playing going on with that seven of swords but they also feel that here and now your true love is already a part of your life so they already feel like you are somebody who is their true love so it's like um you know unfortunately the longer i do these readings i realize that true love is not um something that the masculines in particular value very highly in fact lots of them don't value it highly at all um and so it, it comes down to other factors you know um how you check off certain boxes on their little list so it's like and other things unrelated to you like their work and their money status so I feel like despite the fact that I mean it might see contradictory seem contradictory to say that this person sees you as that you could be the one or their true love and they still have hope and while they're at the same time acting like a player or keeping things from you being dishonest or cold it's like those two things actually can coexist and do coexist in this relationship if this is your reading okay Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> so I'm going to take this over to the extended where I'm going to get some more clarifiers. We're also going to look at the outcome and get tarot sexual magic as well as a few more messages. The link for that's down below if you'd like to join me. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. I hope that was helpful in some way and I'll talk to you next time.